and welcome back to Monster Train. Uh, I, I'll leave you to figure out what the meaning of that intro is. I think you can probably piece it together. However, uh, yeah, that's the wacky intro for today. That's, that's what we're doing today. I, I, today we are Awoken, and someone did request Awoken Melting, so that's what we're going to do. Uh, I think it was standard melting, might be exile melting. I'm pretty sure it's just a standard Awoken melting that I was asked to do. If you do have a request, please, uh, I'm like, I I thought I was just gonna like, oh yeah, I'll scroll through and find them all, but uh, I I don't. I, I thought I would do it no problem. I would just scroll through before the video. I, there's, a, there's a lot of comments, dude. I read through them all, like, but typically I read the comments as they come in in the notification bar, and so, it's kind of like overwhelming actually how many comments there are not like in a bad way by any means of course i'm sure it's not taken in a bad way but regardless um yeah hope you're doing well today it's friday we're playing awoken melting in monster train i don't think i have anything to tell you uh oh i should mention final fantasy 13 2 is probably getting delayed just because it's like the last two weeks of my semester and i'm trying to focus on passing my classes. So, Cranberry and I did not record this week. I'm going to push that off until I'm done and through with all of the classes that are just like tests nonstop for the next two weeks. But anyway, let us begin, shall we? Don't forget to like the video, comment the video, and subscribe the video. And... We have the Soul Sucker Talos. I don't really know what else to call her. Soul Sucker, Sap Talos, Days Talos, Rage Fell, Patient Seraph. We got Restoration Detonation, Hollow Drippings, and Wildwood Custodian. This is a good looking start. If we get Rejuvenate here, I think we're in a very good spot. Waxer Snuffer is a nice little, uh, nice little something something here as well. In case we don't. Cool. I will play Rejuvenate Sentient here for sure. Very nice. Great start for Rejuvenate Sentient. Now, I've tried to make this build work a lot. I think we're fine to take spikes here. I might take some pyre damage, but that's okay. I've tried to make this work a lot, where we just turn the, the Sentient into a machine gun. Usually it doesn't work, but today I'm just going to have it work. That's my strategy. It's just going to work today. That's it. I can't help but feel like I'm forgetting something. Like, I'm, I'm checking Streamlabs because I'm feeling like maybe I forgot. I Like, what could I have even forgotten? I don't know. It's just a creeping sensation. What did I forget? I'm recording, yeah? Microphone is not muted. The capture is the game. Everything's, everything's fine. But at the same time, I can't just... You ever get this where you just can't face down the feeling of something is missing. I'm forgetting something. Happens to me occasionally. I'm not gonna lie to you and say all the time, but it happens to me occasionally. We're taking, uh, oh, no damage to the pyre. Sick. Great trial. Spikes trial I am usually very cautious of, however, this spikes trial there is nothing to fear. Because it's, you know, our sentient doesn't really care about enemy spikes, and that'll do it. Take three damage on the combat, it's fine. Against the other boss we would have taken zero. Oh, the thing I'm forgetting to mention is that, uh, in case you haven't seen, the devs did a stream of the new clan. Did a little introductory stream of the new clan that's going to be coming for paid DLC. I gotta say, looks pretty good. It looks like, it looks pretty good. I'm a little, I'm a little excited. I won't lie. Uh, I'm not gonna pick... So here's the thing. Let me, let me put it to you like this. I have Waxer Snuffer. The less cards I take, the closer we are to just doing an infinite. And it's been a long time. Sting is fine, but it doesn't push me closer to an infinite. Now, should I think in this manner? No, I should probably pick a Sting here, but I'm gonna skip. Again, I should probably take Molten Encasement, but... Uh, like, forcing an infinite like this is gonna get me killed. But Molten Encasement also doesn't do a ton with a champion that we just want to heal. Dripfall is what I should take if I want to take a card here, but I'm just going to pass. I think that 
the sentient that we're playing is also fine to try and do an infinite with because you just uh, you just want to play the cards like you just want to play the regens on her and that's it. Sorry, restores. We should maybe take a unit from the right here instead. We can get two minus ones at the magic shop for the restores, or even a holdover might be good. And then I can grab an awoken unit. It's just what remnant unit would I take here? I don't know, maybe Baron. Like, Baron plus spikes could be cute, but I'm gonna go to the right. We're just gonna maximize magic shops. Yeah, holdover minus one on restoration detonation or restore both seem pretty good. We can either maintain one regen or heal ten every round and do a bunch of damage. I like the maintaining regen more, I think. It's also like holding this over might not seem great because it's not great to hold over restore, but it's okay. Shadow Shell's good. Clears backline for us. Like, it's just fine, basically. It sets us up so that... I should not have taken this trial, actually. It's... It should be okay, but I probably should not have taken the trial. But no, the restore holdover just means that I should always have a card to draw into these enemies. To, like, clean them up, basically. It is, like, maybe I'm just gonna take way too much damage here, but uh, it should be fine. I'll just keep telling myself it should be fine, and it should end up being fine, right? Hmm. Should've taken the drip fall. Alas. If it's only 6 damage for the trial, it's no big deal. And we got both. Oh yeah, we're gonna full heal next turn. I actually don't even want to play... Yeah, I don't want to play anything onto the sentient here. There's nothing cute I can do because there's no way for me to damage one of my units for the restoration detonation. Okay. We took six, no big deal. Ah, uh, maybe a big deal. Oh, because yeah, he farms the back line here, of course. So I'm gonna take another six. That's okay though. Funny, the one regen I didn't take might have been the difference maker there. So close. So close to not taking that six. It's like, it's actually... We're two away, is all. Oh well. It's not the end of the world, right? Against any other boss also. No, the spikes boss would also present a similar issue, actually. I should take Razor Sharp Edge, even if I'm gonna... Like, it's too good to pass. Purifying Cleanse does heal, and it's free. Oh, hey, it's Legion of Wax, and we have Wax or Snuffer. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's good. Oh, no, I, I was doing this, like, I'll take requests so you could learn something from, like, winning an average run. Picking Legion of Wax, Wax or Snuffer is not an average run. It is, uh... Anything but. However, at the same time, it's very good. Now I'm gonna kick myself for not taking Dripfall so I can't, I can't like, fill an entire train with these clowns. So basically now it's gonna be our sentient handles the day-to-day -day and then we have the monster legion to clear everything else out. Oh right, I'll just take more removals here. Or sorry, not removals, more cost downs. Good minus one hold over Razor Sharp Edge as well. It's pretty good with Legion of Wax, too, but I don't know, do I really want to have two holdover cards this early? Yeah, they're good cards. I'm down. It doesn't feel great, but it doesn't feel terrible either. Hellhorn, Stygian, Umbra, Ice Empire, but we don't really need Ice Empire here. Uh, I don't know. These are all like these are all heavy answers, really. You can take like maybe Rage for self damage and Hellhorn would be good. Dark Deal would probably be the best card here because we can combo it with uh, it's it's direct damage, which this deck doesn't have. Can also combine it with Restoration Detonation for a little extra heavy burst. But 
Is it that good? Uh... I don't think it matters that much. I don't think this pick matters all that much. I'm gonna take the Hellhorn Draft. Yeah, Dark Deal's good here. Plus, if I get Adaptive Mutation now, I can play Rage Adaptive Mutation. So, you know, there's that too. I'm kidding. Mostly. I'm gonna grab another plus 10 here with my money. Although, actually, no, I'm not. I should save up. I, I should have actually not bought the holdover because I'm gonna go to the merchant of steel. Yeah, the holdover was a bad call. I shouldn't have taken it. This is a haste combat. This is one of the three haste combats. Is it three? I think it's only three. Okay. Uh, I'm not even gonna bother playing Legion of Wax. There's really no reason to. Although, yeah, there is. He's a good little fallback to have up there. If I throw a Razor Sharp or two, he should kill the boss for us. He should clean it up. Ah, uh, yes, but this was, of course, the risk. So this is 2, 5, it's 12 plus 7, it's 19. I can take 7 off of that. I can, I can save this for sure. Yeah, we're fine. Now it's just a question of do I dark deal or not. I think I should... We only have one restoration detonation left, so I should do a dark deal here just to save health on the Sentia. She's very fragile, so playing on the bottom floor like this was ill-advised, but we're gonna have dregs to help keep her standing. Well... Yeah, I'll just do this. The heavies are gonna pose an actual threat. It would have also been good to have gotten a razor sharp edge down before this happened, but, you know, nothing good is happening on this run so far. Everything's awful. It's alright. I'm just, I'm not gonna get the regen I need. I might have misplayed this combat heavily and doomed myself, but it's hard to say. I'll just hold over razor sharp each of these clowns, I suppose. Like, the, the top four might just, like, win by attrition. I'm pretty sure it does win just by existing for too long. Oh, the regen applies, or the, the yeah, the heal applies first. Interesting. It's just a daze effect, yeah. Okay. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's fine just because that top floor is going to be, like, Legion plus Waxer Snuffer is insane. It is very good, but we'll see if it's good enough. I think it is. I'm pretty sure it's good enough. But there's only one way to find out. I'm gonna ping off a few of these. No, because all four of these have to die, right? So, be a real shame if I lost this right now. It's all on the Legion. Yeah, fuck me. They live. They. They. They're just. They're. They're so. So long lasting. This is a long round. Like, look at this shit. I want to watch this in all of its glory. Wax or snuff or Legion of Wax. Oh what they don't keep the fort they don't keep the the attack increase or are those not Okay no they do? No wait they don't what? Wait that looks so weird, doesn't it? Hang on, watch that footage back for me. Cause I can't right now, obviously. But it looked like they were spawning with the seven and then Cause what it should be is He should go he should be four up to fourteen. And then he should be 2 plus 10, which should be 12, down to 10 because of the 1 sap, right? That's what they should have been. Why were they spawning in at 0? Because he had a stat change. I think there's something funky going on there with the sap from Talos, but it is hard to say. I actually found the adaptive mutation. I was, I was joking. Oh my god, imagine rage adaptive mutation legion of wax.
<laughs> I'm okay. I'm fine. No, thank you. Ah, there's a big slot. <laughs> Dude, we got all of the good melting units, what the hell? This is definite draw. Crazy, I saw the adaptive mutation there. Large stone is one of the two Legion of Wax upgrades. Great. Don't need any of these. Just continue on the on the rejuvenate path. I think that, by the way, you probably would still win the Talos combat without the Legion of Lex. You would just play top four with your two goons, and then by the time... Like, you would cycle through the deck a few more times by the time the boss gets to you and stack up some regen. Hypothetically. I'm gonna not slam this attack trial, because my sentient's gonna get run over. I think it's fine to just chill here. These are combats that are kind of pushing me into these weird positions though, where it's like, okay, we're gonna play bottom floor. Here, for example. Playing bottom floor isn't really great for us. I should have given this goon a plus 10. That's my bad. And just kill him. I'm gonna take one damage from this uh, curse boy here. I think they're called Absolvers. Which is interesting because why are they called Absolvers if they resolve? Hmm? Tell me that. Mega crit gaming. The buff doesn't carry over, by the way. The rage doesn't carry over, so there's not really a good reason to rage other than to set up adaptive mutation. But it's a good enough reason. Your boy on the top floor is gonna be thick. He's gonna be the boss killer. He's like the boss failsafe. Right now this floor does heavies and backline pretty well, but killing bosses without Wildwood Sap is a challenge. So let me watch this when he splits up there, by the way. Assuming he does split. No, he doesn't. We just need to clear some units out and look for multi-strike here now. Yeah, obviously this isn't a four that kills Seraph. We're barely edging out 500 damage on that guy. So, you know. Man, Channel Song sounds pretty goofy here, doesn't it? It sounds cool, but then you remember that nine of the cards in this deck are units... No, ten of the cards in this deck are units we don't want to hit. And you realize that Channel Song is not it here. I have space for Edge Prior. I could take him. But I don't want to. I don't want any of this. We're fine. Like we're in a we're in a very dominant position here. If we find the multi strike, it is basically just all over. Hey, quick plus ten is pretty good too. Now, do I want to just fish for multi strike or do I want to grab quick plus ten? I think quick plus ten is good enough for me here because it saves a lot on patient Sarah. It saves a lot. Yeah, it saves a ton. Uh, I'm gonna not do anything else here, we're just gonna chill. Purge two train stewards, because I can't- I don't have space to play them. This is looking pretty good. This is a double draw for sure. The only thing that's awkward about double draw is when I have uh, rounds where I can take spell shield here for sure. Rounds where it's like I draw all three of my units in the first turn. The two goons plus the sentient. That can be a little weird. Like, if, if I have to play like this and then not play any heals on turn one, we can get pushed into a weird spot, basically. Doesn't matter too much, I shouldn't even heal. This is Shattered Shell's combat to shine. But because of the large stone, if top floor was this space, we do get forced to put Sentient and Shattered Shell down here, which gets a little weird too. Also, I can't hurt this heavy, which is tough. I don't want to steal from Shattered Shell. I just have to figure out how I'm killing this guy. I guess it's just gonna be through. Hey, look at that, except it doesn't work. Haha. <laughs> I took a trial. Uh, how do I? I guess I'm just gonna have the Goon Squad rise up, except the Goon Squad burns out up here. Eh, too bad. 
It's interesting that the sentience damage isn't considered uh, spell damage for the spell shield. I'm just gonna take 14 here, and that's okay with me. I'm gonna keep buffing him. I, I wanna see him split and see if he's holding on to the numbers as I would expect or not. But he's not splitting because I'm killing too well. Pretty sure this is High Priest though, so we should be getting Legion of Wax as time to shine here. You can see as well from this point onwards, we just have 12 cards and we draw 7, so... You know, we cycle very quickly through this deck now. And your boy here. So if he splits and he doesn't have... It definitely he's gonna get the kill. I just have to watch. So he splits 73-38. My expected split here is he should split into a unit that has 4 attack, 4 health. Then it's... Uh, so it's, it's minus 4 from each of these. So he should split to a 69-34 here. I'm gonna go ahead and slow this down all the way. Yeah, okay. So that was just a weird uh, bug on Talos. That they didn't hold over the Razor Sharp Edge effect. Like, maybe because they were technically dead from the Razor Sharp Edge effect is what my hypothesis would be. Adaptive Mutation, get away from me. Restoring Retreat is nothing, not really worth taking here because I don't have Intent on Death. Didn't I just see this? No, this was a different card. It was Mortal Entrapment Engulfed in Smoke, and then the third card was uh, the AoE damage card. Fatal Melting, I think it is. Yeah, that's not Memento Mori. Okay. I can just take Heaven's Gold, it's very safe. I'm not gonna get a ton of value out of Gift of Gratitude, Heaven's Gold is just safe here. I will take that. Cool. Uh, we, we're in a good spot. I'm not- this is three holdovers in a row. And there's no reason not to hold over and graft, I guess. If you want to be reasonable about it, there really isn't a good reason to not give it hold over. I know I'm spending all this money with the Heaven's Gold, but I don't really care all that much. Yeah. They should not be getting to the Pyre, although it's not impossible for enemies to get to the Pyre, especially on this combat. It's mostly just as long as we don't have space. Yeah, top floor. Okay. You see, this is that awkward situation I was talking about, where now I have to choose between killing this heavy or not. Or just missing Legion of Wax, which is probably fine here, actually. Although I'm still not killing this guy, so it doesn't matter all that much. God, the top four space loss is just so tragic. Should've played regen there instead of restoration detonation. That was a mistake. Yeah, we're gonna take it here quite a bit. Your boy's gonna split before he gets any help. Also, this might be a really bad circumstance that we're in here. I need to heal this guy up. Can I heal him out of death range here? 8 plus 5 is 13. I don't think I can. Let's think about this a little bit longer. Oh, hey, I lost my Shattered Shell, too? What the fuck? This combat's a nightmare? I'm trying to see a way to save your boy here. I think he's dead. He's not dead, obviously. He's just splitting, but that gets, like, we lose value for that. Eh. Alright, I mean, we live here. I guess it's fine. I guess it's fine. I'm taking a bunch up here, but this is where having gold comes into play. It's easy, like, it's really easy to go like, oh man, is it, are we gonna be okay? Is it okay here? This is insane. Like, you gotta understand, 
It's it's one of the hardest units in the game to actually actively gauge how much damage it's going to do in a relentless combat, but these guys do so much damage to a boss. Like, they do so much damage that I... They almost would kill Seraph, I'm pretty sure. Patient Seraph, if I don't incant, would probably die to this floor, actually. Because this does 126 per round right now. And every time they split, they gain more damage. It's very, very strong. Especially with buffing that back one. Make the strongest statue of all time. Make it a 24 times 2. That's probably something you've never seen in Monster Train before. Yeah. Keep it rolling here. I didn't really need to do that. That was kind of a waste. We're not ending up on the regen plan here. Which is where I expected we would go. But... We didn't end up on the regen plan, surprisingly enough. Once we get to this stage of the fight, though, it's insane value. Heavies die. If we can just get to this stage of the fight quicker. Yeah. Might as well just keep buffing up here, it doesn't really matter. It's like, Waxer Snuff or Legion of Lax is out of control strong. Especially with Razor Sharp Edge to buff up the, the root Legion of Lax here. Sorry, can you hear me over all the screaming that my Legion is doing? Spreading spores I don't even need here. But that combat is a good example of how you can lose a run like this where it looks really good. I just, I've been pushed into this awkward middle bottom floor which we don't want. And I I need to stop losing space top floor, basically. And I'm gonna fish for that multi strike in this shop. Large stone number two can't take. Plus twenty five is the second best upgrade in terms of boss damage. Yeah, we'll keep looking. The hunt continues. Although maybe I should have taken spreading spores at that point. It puts us in a weird spot, though, I think. Should not take spikes here. Shattered Shell's doing a lot of the heavy lifting on the back line. This is more like it. I get a turn to settle in. Get everything all situated here. This is what I want to see. May as well sack the dregs to save the five health. There's no reason not to. And now we basically have extra energy, but it also triggers Rejuvenate. I am taking... Because it's really just the first heavy. And that heavy is a bad heavy for our setup as well, because it's blocked by all these Wilt Wings, which I can't pick off very well. It's fine, though. We have 78 Pyre attacks, so we're not in a bad spot by any means. And once we get into, uh, we get into this here, we just start blowing these guys away. Yeah, okay. I think that if it weren't Patient Seraph, I would say 100%. I think that Patient Seraph can lock us down in a way that we are forced to, uh, take a bad deal, more or less. What would the bad deal be? It's like, if we end up in a position where it's, I shouldn't even bother playing these, I should just heal. It's like, I can't play any of the floors is the bad situation. Where there's a Shade Wings down here and Seraph's on the middle floor, and then the top floor has the Legion of Wax on it. Even that circumstance should be okay. But... It can be awkward here, too. I just have to watch the incants, mostly. Should've maybe taken the Stealth Tome for that. But I don't have to do that many incants in a turn. We're at 12 regen just from the stores here. It's pretty good. Huh. Interesting how he takes less and less damage every time I play a card here. A funny thing about the boss. 
because he gets more health, he starts to get or more attacks, so he gets better uh, kill ratios. But not today, buddy. Doesn't even get to go up to the legion. Uh, awake is what I would take if I was afraid. I'm not afraid. I think I'll take invigorating solution here. Most of the deck is free, so we just want to cycle through and get all the dregs cleared out. Invigorating solution helps with that. Bounty Stalker on 4-7 is like maybe one of the classic trolls of this game. The Monster Train Omega Bait. I'm gonna go right. I mostly want this for the Pyre Health. I also want the Merchant of Steel here. Uh, I should probably settle for plus 25, but I'm gonna look. Okay, plus 25 is good. You got anything interesting in here? Pyre Health. Plus one attack for spikes. I think I'll just roll this, although if I want to be super safe, I can just take Pyre Health. Oh, Trader's Quill is also interesting, turning the two Hollow Drippings in this into a nuke. I'll just roll. Hmm. Yeah, Thorn Fruit's okay. I'll probably just grab the Thorn Fruit. Second and Graft is fine. It doesn't hurt in any way, it replaces itself with Holdover. Although Thornfruit actually is kind of bad with the amount of draw we have here. I already have 9 draw, so Thornfruit takes us to a point where I just don't get any value out of it. I'll remove. What do I remove here? It's just drags now. Maybe Howl Drippings are a little worse? I don't know. Drag Howl Drippings I can just throw away on any floor, though. Drags I have to throw away on a specific floor away from the eye of the patient. Fine. Does this beat Seraph? I think so, but it might not. I don't know. This is like truly, truly one of the hardest things to calculate is how much damage is Legion of Wax with Wax or Snuffer gonna do? The answer is a ton. And the prophecy was almost fulfilled. But ultimately we're okay. I should have let the Shattered Chill take that kill. Top floor Seraph already kind of sucks, but what can you do? Take 15 damage off the table? It's worth the encant. Yeah, I'm not too worried here. We're gonna get at least two Razor Sharp Edges off, which should put us in a pretty solid position here. Wait, where's my Razor Sharp Edge? Oh, the Holdover. Of course. I don't want to play more than I have to here. This is gonna be two. Two is the good number there. Yeah, okay. I'm healing this guy back up. I don't want to lose him. But the big thing is I don't want the... I, I want to make sure that my sentient isn't getting... Or is getting her melee weakness taken by the uh, Gilded Wing there. Is what I was looking at. The Invigorating Solution ended up being completely worthless. Absolute joke take. I'm gonna play the Dark Deal here. It's worth the one in camp because I should be able to bait another round of melee weakness by leaving this drag alive now. In two, if this drag lives for two more rounds, which he should, he should bait another round of melee weakness for us. Which is nice. 25 is fine, 26 is fine, it's no big deal. We have it, I'm almost certain here. I would be very, very surprised if this went against us from this point. Razor sharp and... I can just keep uh, stacking, I guess. Although I maybe should just be a little more cautious in terms of the attack on Sarah. The numbers are getting a little finicky here. I'm pretty sure this Legion kills Seraph, though. Yeah, look at that, we baited another round of melee weakness with you, boy. It's good, too, because it keeps Seraph off of the floor that I have to play cards on, so it adds a lot of value for that reason as well. I suppose we'll see if I needed to... Because I just let the Sentient obliterate the floors. We'll see if I needed the Chattered Shell to do more, or if he is good enough here. 234 is obviously not... A whole lot of damage, but it all comes up here. You're a little injured. I should clear the floor first. Although maybe it's not that worth 
63. Is three hits anyway? 29, 58, 63. I should stop. I should just let this Shadow Shell, or the, not Shadow Shell, just let our, our goon up here do all the heavy lifting. Because he should. Min minimizing or like maximizing an extra little bit of health here doesn't matter all that much. I should just think about the attacks on Sarah. 59, yeah. So if I do it like this, he takes two hits. But really, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter all that much because there's like there's regen at play and there's the health loss too. I don't know. Do we win? Yeah. Like, it doesn't look like it for sure. I'm not going to touch this, by the way, because it's it could be extremely close. It's impossible to tell. It could be extremely close and we could be like winning just because the 29 attack. I should start this while we talk. While I talk here. But we could only be winning because the 29 attack doesn't one shot that first uh, goon. Or it might just not matter. I'm pretty sure it doesn't matter. Yeah, they have set, they all do 70 uh, attack. And it takes two hits from each Seraph to kill, or for Seraph to kill each one. So yeah, it's not close, never mind. It was never even close. If I had thought about it a little more critically and I started doing the math, I would have uh, realized very swiftly that that was not close. Because after the split, that was doing 280 per round at least. So yeah. This isn't a super informative one, but you can win this run against uh, a different Seraph by playing a very similar setup, but just having Wildwood Sap show up instead of Holdover Razor Sharp Edge. But yeah, you can do that. Uh, it, the thing about playing regen against not, uh, or like another Seraph, is against Patient Seraph, it's tough because you're going to incant him a lot, so you need a lot of regen. If you're confident in that, though, you can do it. Against uh, Chase Seraph, he cuts your debuffs, and against Diligent Seraph, getting a regen plan going of just playing Restore a lot of times is a little rough because Diligent consumes. So, you gotta watch out. That's all. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave me a like. Subscribe if you would like to see more. I'll see you in the next one, and have a good one. Goodbye.